up? It's your boy Hollywood back with another episode of your favorite podcast slash YouTube channel. Today, I thought I'd switch it up a bit. I made a promise to my loyal subscribers, followers, fans, very back in 2019 when I first started doing this podcast slash YouTube channel consistently that I would talk about sports, entertainment, music, the whole shebang. Well, I haven't talked about music yet. I've done a few shorts about music, but this is the first ever podcast episode that I'm truly delving into the music world. And what compelled me to do this was a page that I follow on Instagram called Rap. They basically do what I do. They spoil the news of sports, entertainment, and rap. What they did was they made a top 50 worst rappers of all time list. And I thought I would share it with you. Hopefully get your guys' opinion down in the comment section. And really just give my opinion. That way you guys can dive into my brain and see where I'm at with my love and interest in music. And this list is pretty crazy. I'm going to put it up right here so you can follow along. There's 50 names on this list. So I'm going to kind of rapid fire on who I agree with and who I don't agree should be on this list. And by far, who's definitely the biggest shock on this list. So let's dive right into it. I'm going to start with 50 and go all the way to one. Number 50, we have NBA Youngboy. How he is not higher on this list is mind-boggling. I feel like he should be number two. He should be in the top five worst rappers of all time because that guy is the definition of mumble rap. And pff, he basically sold his soul. More on that later. Number 49, this is where they fuck up. Easy E. So already, one that should be on the list, but higher in NBA Young Boy, and one who shouldn't be on the list at all. Easy E. How are you going to put the guy, one of the founders of NWA, on the worst rappers of all time list? How are you going to put a guy who became a huge global sensation for being a part of the world's most dangerous group? I mean, I just don't agree with that at all because he paved the way for rappers. He paved the way for gangster rap, essentially. So I definitely don't agree with Easy e being on that list. Number 48, Playboy Cardi. Okay, I agree. Me, I, you won't catch me bumping him. I, mean, I doubt his music is played in the club, but, you know, again, I don't agree. 47, 47, I got Riz, there's RZA. Definitely don't agree with that. Member of Wu-Tang, one of the most famous rap groups of all time. You can't put someone like that on this sort of list. Number 46, Nelly. Again, don't agree with it at all. I like Nelly. He has a number one hit in each genre of music, rap, hip hop, country, you name it, the man's done it. So already, I don't agree with three, but I agree with two. Except, like I said again, NBA Young Boy should be higher. 45, Iggy Azalea. I agree. She made one hit song, probably two, but she didn't sustain the level of success that we thought she would. Number 44, I really do not agree with. That's Future. I like Future a lot. He makes some really great music. He, yeah, I just don't agree with him being on this list at all. 43, Tom McDonald. I don't know who the fuck he is, but he probably should be on this list. Same with Tony Yayo. 41, definitely agree with in Designer. But again, like NBA Youngboy, he should be higher. I mean, this guy had one hit song. He is the true definition of a one hit wonder like many people on this list. 40, Gucci Mane. I like Gucci Mane a lot, but I kind of have to agree. I mean, he has some great fe features on his songs, but I just feel like he could be better. Again, the rap world is truly hard to make it, but this is one I kind of agree with, but I would also let it slide if he wasn't on this list. 39, PD Pablo, no idea. 38, Young Thug, yeah, I agree with that. He's one of those mumble rappers again, and I just feel like if you're a mumble rapper, you're automatically doomed to be on this list. 37 is a tie between Flo Rida and Pitbull, and that took me by surprise. It really did because I kind of like Flo Rida, He's cool. He has one song that I really like, but the rest of his songs are kind of corny. Same thing with Pitbull, Mr. Worldwide, Mr. 305. Can you see? Yep, Mr. 305. 
he makes some good songs and he again has great features on his songs but i just feel like the rest of his songs are super corny and they're super repetitive all of his songs just plain and simple super repetitive i could see him being on this list but flow rider you know uh I guess so too, but the big caveat is, are these people even rappers? Wouldn't hip-hop be the better genre for Flo Rida and Pitbull? I don't know. You guys decide. But to answer that question, I agree. 36, Lil Uzi Vert, definitely, definitely should be on this list. I mean, that guy, again, can't hear a fucking word he's saying. Probably sold his soul to get his fame. Getting piercings everywhere, that automatically makes you a rapper, apparently. Getting tattoos on your face, that makes you a rapper, apparently, but definitely should be on this list. Mike Jones at 35, sounds like a basketball player. I I, I can't really say if he should be on this list, mainly because I never heard of him. But if I never heard of you, you probably should be on this list. Number 34, Yin Yang Twins. I mean, again, if I don't know you, you should probably be on this list. 33, French Montana, another one that took me by surprise because I feel like French Montana actually puts in work to his songs. Let's not forget, Unforgettable came out five years ago ago with him and Sway Lee, and that song blew the hell up. So I could see why he's on this list, but I also can't because he, he puts a lot of effort into what he does. And I just think that you can't find that in rap a lot these days. At number 32, we got Riff Raff. Definitely agree with that. 31, G Herbo. I definitely agree with that as well. I mean, he has one good song, but how is your hook going to be the only part of the song that people like? I mean, come on, man. 30, C Murder. Don't know who the fuck he is. 29, Bow Wow. Yes, he just definitely got famous at the right time. But ever since then, took a nosedive as far as songs and albums go. Number 38, St. Lunatics. Yep, St. Lunatics. Don't know who the fuck they are. 27, Chingy. Don't know who the fuck they are, but definitely agree with them being on this list. Same with St. Lutanix. Lutanix, whatever. 26, Nick Cannon. Uh, Yeah, he should be higher. Should be in the top eight. How do you lose a rap battle when the other rapper doesn't even say anything? And I'm talking about the diss he had against Eminem. I mean, Nick Cannon literally destroyed his own career by going after Slim Shady. And it's just as simple as that. His comedy is almost as worse as his rap. So, to put it nicely. Halfway there, Manny Fresh. Don't know who the fuck he is, but probably deserves to be on this list. Soja Boy, okay, that one's tough, but I agree. This ain't 2008 anymore, where people use your song as a ringtone on their flip phones. So I agree. I agree with Chief Keef. You don't really hear anyone bumping him unless you're in my hometown of Pueblo, Colorado, because p people treat him like a god, but I cannot find one good song with Chief Keef, Chief Keef in it. Chief Queef. 22, I got Gunna. Yeah, I agree. I agree because, again, no one knows what the fuck you're saying, dude. 20, we got Cardi B. I agree. Bodak Yellow was good. The rest of her songs are just okay. They're very mediocre, but I agree. 19, Blueface. Definitely sold his soul to be, to be famous. Definitely sold his soul for one hit record. Definitely sold his soul to be in a boxing match against Swaggy P., so I definitely agree. Number 18, Plies. Don't know who he is, but I agree. Number 17, Benzino. Don't know who he is, but I agree. 16, Yeet. Don't know who... I mean, I kind of know who he is. I think he got famous off of Instagram or Vibe back in the SoundCloud rap era. So yeah, I, I could agree with that. Kid Boo. Again, don't know who these guys are. They got a lot of unknowns and... Again, if you know who these people are, please let me know in the comment section. 14, Vanilla Ice. The definition of a one-hit wonder. Very similar to, let's see, who did I just compare him to? I compared him to Designer. One definition of a one-hit wonder. 
absolutely embarrassment of a music career. 13, Birdman, absolutely 100% agree. That guy is absolutely terrible. 12, Coy LeRae, another dude that sold his soul. So, yeah, agree. Definitely not good at all. Um, Waka Flocka, that one is tough. But, again, if you just sound like, bro, let's just stop. So, yes, I agree. 10, Sean Diddy Combs, a.k.a. P. Diddy, a.k.a. Puff Daddy. I agree with that 100%. He basically rode Biggie's coattails. And possibly, he helped Biggie get murdered. So I don't like that snake in the grass at all. Number nine, Gouda Gouda. Don't, I, I think I heard of him before, but definitely agree. S number eight, six, nine. Yep, I'm so happy he's in the top 10. Because again, he is probably another motherfucker that sold his soul to the devil. And got famous, and he's not even that good of a rapper. I could scream into a mic and probably be as successful as he is in the rap industry. Number seven, Smoke Perp. Uh, again, don't know who he is, but probably deserves it. Number six, Lil Pump. Absolutely. Another rapper that sold his soul. And another rapper that got in at the right time, the SoundCloud rap era. That guy just, he annoys the shit out of me. Mainly because, again, he sold his soul. Doesn't know how to work hard. And always goes down the dark route to get the success that he does not deserve. Number five, Lil Flip. Don't know who he is. Number five, excuse me, number four, OJ the Deuce Man. Juice Man. Sorry for my lisp. Again, don't know who he is, but probably deserving. Number three, Master P. I'm going to have to disagree slightly, but I'm not mad at it. Number two, this is a surprise, Lil Yachty. But I'm also not surprised because Lil Yachty, like many rappers, only has a hit song and that's it. One Night is probably his only hit song out there. So I like that. But, you know, again, these rappers think they don't have to stay at the certain level that got them there. That's why the Drakes of the world, the J. Coles of the world, the Jay Z's of the world, they know what it takes to be good. And these rappers just have no idea what the fuck they're doing. Number one. Silk the Shocker, and he has to be pretty freaking bad if he is on this list. I have no idea who he is, so if you know who he is, please sure to let me know in the comment section because that'll make this list only more accurate and only more hilarious. So there y'all go. I went through it fast, kind of summarized why I agree, why I don't agree, and it's a shocker that so many of these rappers that are famous are on this list. The only ones I don't agree with out of the 50 are one, two, three, four. Four out of the 50 I don't agree with being on this list. Five. That's Easy E, Rizza, Nelly, Future, and French Montana. Five out of the 50 should not be on this list. But the rest, I absolutely 100% agree. I do. And the problem I have with this list is, okay, if you look at the names here, you'll see these guys are some of the most famous people in the world. Famous rappers. Not only on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, whatever. They have a fan base. Do you know how many of them actually openly said they sold their soul to the devil or is accused that they did that? Let me tell you. About all of them and that is the thing I hate the most and if these if 50 of these people are the 50 worst rappers of all time but yet household name celebrities then I'm officially announcing my transition into the rap world if these guys are that terrible then I'm pretty sure I can make a living off of this I'm officially now becoming a rapper